Hey guys, how are we doing? Welcome to this week's um, weekly forecast. Okay, so we'll quickly be going through five pairs that you probably and definitely need to keep your eyes on this coming week. Okay, so we have the core CPI news coming out on Thursday next week. It's really going to be an amazing opportunity for us to like make good money. We had the non-farm payroll come up yesterday and a lot of money was made and of course a lot of money was actually lost to buy some traders out there. However, these are some of the pairs that you definitely need to keep your eyes on. A lot of action will be happening and the market will fully be resuming next week. Okay, so that said, um, let's jump right into this week's um, analysis. So first off, I'm actually looking at the Euro GBP. Okay, uh, Euro GBP is first on my list. This was a trend line I showed you guys last week and I told you guys I'm actually very skeptical that this trend line would actually hold although i was willing to bet on it i actually lost money over here um i lost money somewhere here i think just somewhere around here because i told you guys last week that i knew that this would it would probably be, be broken but i was willing to take the risk which i took the risk and i was stopped at cause the reason i told you guys that it was going to break because it was it has been tested multiple times and each time it was tested uh, the market gave us a lower high a lower high a lower high i just knew that this trend line would probably not hold that much longer it held for some time you know give gave us a, a, a rally on i think this was monday morning gave us a rally on monday morning and all the way boom it broke the trend line but however i'm actually my bias has changed on this because of course the trend has actually changed so if you look on a four hour time frame you can see this oh, sorry about that you can see this double top right here let me move my face a little bit away from here so you can see this double top um has formed here on a forward time frame and we have a lower high okay so so far the market has given us this 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 a lower low sorry even as a lower low so i'm typically looking for something like this okay i'm looking for something like this so that i can short this market all the way down okay but however let's go down to a daily time frame let me show you guys something now on the daily time frame as you can see we have a lot of you know space to the downside okay we have a lot of space all the way first here first stop would be um typically the 20 moving average that's where i'm expecting the first stop to be and then this this should be the second stop and then there should be uh maybe it's I, I, this would actually take like maybe a whole month to happen but however this is a lot of space to um the downside because if you plot the support and resistance on the daily time frame this is what you typically have let me draw this quickly this is what you have here and you have this here you have this here okay so this market has typically been moving in this range here to here to here to here to here so there's a lot of space to the downside it might take a full month for this market to gradually you know um sorry what am i doing for this market to gradually um you know move give us that move all the way down it might take a very long while but it's it's a possibility okay so but what i'm looking to trade off short time is simply a retracement i'm looking to um you know scalp off a retracement from here let me, oh my god why 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 are my tools misbehaving today so oh god dear lord dear lord let me move this thing a little bit forward okay good so this is what i'm looking forward to happen i'm looking for this market if it's retracing if this retracement continues i'm looking for this to um retrace to this level retrace to let's say 50 or 30 at this point i'm looking at 38 because it's 38 um typically coincides with the uh with the 50 um, moving average on a one hour so if this market retraces to this point i would actually be willing to enter in for a sell <clears throat> i'll begin to enter in for a sell somewhere around this region okay somewhere around this region I'm hoping to enter a trade, a sell trade, okay? And if you look at this on the forward time frame, this actually coincides, this area coincides with this initial support we had over here, okay? So this is what we're looking for.
okay this is typically what we are looking for okay something like this so somewhere around here i'll be looking for to enter a trade if i see my entry patterns if i see the exact entries that we use and we teach at the trade with academy okay that's it let's jump into the AUD USD. hey guys so sorry to interrupt your watching experience so if this is your first time on my channel if this is your first time coming across my weekly forex forecast i love you to subscribe to this channel smash the notification icon so that you don't get to miss out on this kind of analysis i do this every single weekend giving you guys an insight on what to expect in the market and which currency pairs to actually trade off that makes me the very good money during the week okay so that said um, give this video a thumbs up let's jump right back into the video AUDSD is one that i have my eyes on now starting off on a daily time frame um we can actually see that this market got into this range right here and is typically at the highs um right now i'm actually still looking forward to um going long on this market because unless this high gets broken um before i enter the trade or or um maybe this market gives us some form of you know head and shoulders pattern that indicates that we are done with this with these highs but temporarily i'm actually still looking to trade you know uh, go long on this market now we have this trend line from here to here we have this um, trend line going from here to here so if we pull out a fibonacci on the one hour if we pull out a fibonacci on the one hour time frame um from here from this low to the high over here we're seeing that somewhere between the 50 and the 61 because by the time this market gets to 50 by the time this market moves from here all the way down to this point by the time this happens this 50 and 20 moving average would typically be somewhere close to this area so somewhere around here somewhere around here i'm actually looking to enter a buy trade okay looking to enter a buy trade so that's uh, what I'm looking at at the, you know, on the AUD USD. Okay. Um, but anything is possible at this point. Anything is actually possible because this is like a very good area um, of support that has been tested. So resistance, sorry, that has, you know, become support and has been tested multiple times. If you look all the way back, this is currently where we are. So it's really dicey. So just so this is a very dicey area so you need to be careful but i'm still willing to scalp you know off this area you know briefly before the um push down that typically looks like it's going to happen so we have this market has touched here touched here you know broke over here touched here touched here touched here touched here again it's touching here again so it's actually a very dicey area but um like i said i'm willing to take the risk i mean I mean, we make money, we lose money on this market, so um, it's still fine to lose, provided that you're going to get your money back, which we do every single time. Okay, so that's it. That's all for the AUD USD. I'm looking for a buy, a, a temporal um, um, buy bias on the AUD USD. So let's look at the AUD card. AUD card. It's um, really interesting. It's interesting because. Why well, it's interesting is because the AUD card is a bit um, correlated with the AUD USD. So, um, because of my bias on the AUD card, uh, that's why I'm saying that the AUD USD is actually a little bit skeptical. It can fall from there because AUD card looks like it's going to fall very, very soon. If you look at the daily time frame, we have this right here. We had this high came over here gave us a low and we had a retest of that high which you know gave us this resistance push all the way down which i'm thinking would definitely just keep falling and why that is so is because we still have a lot of space to the downside a lot of space to the downside before we get to this um, initial resistance here which was a support here which would definitely you know pose a support somewhere here but however let's look at a four hour time frame on this this looks like a typical head and shoulders pattern about to happen this looks like a typical head and shoulders pattern about to happen so this looks like the second shoulder forming here so i'll typically look for a downtrend you know from, so from somewhere here and it look, if you look at this on a one hour time frame if you look at this on a one hour time frame let me go ahead and delete this if you look at this on a one hour time frame this is this is a definite this is looking like a downtrend on a one hour time frame because we had this um previous um previous high here 
give us a low give us a lower high give us a lower low and it's back somewhere around this uh, last high although it's looking like it has broken it but this long red candle is looking like we're going to push all the way down okay so i'm looking to maybe take profit somewhere here or push it all the way down that's if the trade if i'm actually looking to go swing on this particular trade there's a lot of space to the downside okay and there's a lot of liquidity there's a lot of other blocks that will be somewhere around here so if it if it clears this support zone right here it's definitely coming crashing i like it's definitely going to come crashing down okay because a lot of other blocks here under here under here under here under here so if this market mistakenly <laughs> or intentionally crosses this point breaks all these lows here we are have we are definitely going to have a market crashing all the way down okay so um this particular my my bias on this is one of the reasons also that i'm telling you to be careful with aud usd because aud usd and aud card are somewhat correlated they are vaguely correlated but they are actually correlated okay because of the aud okay so and I've, of course i've already talked about AUD, so no need to go back on this oh god this video is getting longer than I expected so usd card is one that i'm actually still looking um you know I'm really looking forward to trade of it's 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 going to be a long ride down i'm hoping so it's going to be a long ride down <clears throat> too we already have this last support right here that was broken it was broken here it was broken here okay uh, uh, sorry this it, it was broken here okay here and here was broken by this long candle right here and this is where we're looking at this is the next possible level that we're looking for a reversal somewhere here okay so there's still a little bit space to scalp off you know before it gets to the next area where you definitely want to uh you know keep your hands in your pockets and wait for what will happen next so i'm bearish on the usd card if you look on a one hour chart if you look on a watch if for any reason this retracement continues and you know steps back and you know retraces back to somewhere around this 38.2 I'm, i won't be looking for a trade here to be honest with you i would definitely not be looking for a trade here because this is this is an area of manipulation a lot of manipulation will happen here if this market reverses to this point a lot of manipulation will definitely happen here um then this market will likely push to the 38.2 before it reverses so if i get something like this to here all the way down i would definitely definitely be bearish so this is where sorry so this is where oh my god this is where i would be looking for a trade on this okay somewhere here okay somewhere here i'm looking for to enter a trade a sell position on the usd card okay so that's it let's jump into the very last analysis for the week so euro gpy is another one that i'm looking forward to trade off now if you look at this on a daily time frame we have a clear you know uh, clear case of lower lows and lower la lower highs so created a lower low and is back to our previous um previous um previous low okay so this is my bias here is definitely uh it's bearish okay because we have all this happening if you look at this on the on the forward two you can see what we have here it's back okay so i'm actually looking for to go uh go short on this but however let me tell you why and how and i am going to be going short on the euro jpy now if you scale down to a one hour time frame this has given us an equi typically this is an equidistant low from what you can see here this is an equidistant low this is an equidistant low a typical um a typical high you know a typical trend and uptrend should give you a higher high and a higher low at every point in time but this is giving us an equal low okay this is like a typical uptrend okay but in this case we are having like a typical higher you know the same low all the time so it doesn't look like this market has the energy to actually keep pushing this market all the way up so what i'm hoping to happen here is a break this trend right this trend line right here would typically be broken it looks like it's going to be broken because this market doesn't have that much energy the, the sellers are looking like they really know what they're doing in this market and this market will likely break this trend line here 
So what I'm looking for to what, what I'm looking to do on Eurojp is to sell. I'm looking for a break here, looking for a retest. Then I'll enter here for a sell. So somewhere around this region, somewhere around this region, I'm actually looking to enter a trade. Um, if I see a break of this trend line right here, so this is a trade I'll probably enter on a 15 minutes time frame. Okay, so that's typically what I'm looking to do on the Euro JPY. Another reason why I'm doing on the Euro JPY is because this is the same and similar analysis on the USD JPY and um, the I think the JPP, JPP JPY or the NCC JPY. One of them, let me show you the USD JPY first. So we're already seeing that there's already a push down what's happening on the USD JPY. Um, you know, uh, all thanks to the um, NFP that happened yesterday. So we're already seeing this playing out on the USD JPY. Let me go to a daily time frame. We're already seeing this push going on on daily time frame. Euro JPY and USD JPY are the most highly correlated. Okay. So as you can see, the move that we're expecting to have on to push all the way down is already happening on the USD JPY. Okay. So it is very likely. It is very um, likely that this trend line, that's a technical aspect of the whole thing. This trend line will definitely, it's not going to hold. It's giving us equidistance low, which is not what we want. And um, as you can see, the energy, there's no, see, look at the length of these candles. Uh, it doesn't just look energetic like the previous ones. Like, okay, uh, I know I'm being a little bit, I'm, like, it's like I'm spilling out all my trading strategies and all my trading all my trading secrets that makes me all the money but you guys have been nice to me on this channel so i mean why not now look at the length of the this this candle right here this was a power push Nearly it got to this support there was a power push all the way up um this other one to see this power push all the way up here but we got to this other point we're just seeing dojis 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 this market definitely doesn't look like it has the energy to give us what we are looking for so i'll be looking for um sell opportunities on the euro jpy so so that said that's my analysis for the week but before you go just to let you know that this is not a trading advice i'm not here to give you guys trading advice. this is just my analysis however if you decide to trade using my analysis it's totally fine this is just just so you are aware and just so you keep your eyes on this particular um trading setups and you know what so just know what to expect in this coming week so that said trade safely trade safely um this is the core cpi week so you definitely need to trade like really really safely okay so have a wonderful trading week ahead bye